Today is Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. Welcome to today's daily prayers. Let us pray. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, I commit all my ways unto you. I pledge my life to your service. Speak to me of duty and faithfulness. Show me my noble task and strengthen me to walk in it. Amen. Our psalm for this week is Psalm 131. True life, my heart isn't proud. My eyes aren't conceited. I don't get involved with things too great or wonderful for me. No, but I have calmed and quieted myself like a weaned child on its mother. I'm like the weaned child that is with me. Israel, wait for true life from now until forever from now. Our daily scripture comes from Romans chapter 1, verses 1 through 7. I, Paul, am a devoted slave of Jesus Christ on assignment, authorized as an apostle to proclaim God's words and acts. I write this letter to all the believers in Rome, God's friends. The sacred writings contain preliminary reports by the prophets on God's Son. His descent from David roots him in history. His unique identity as Son of God was shown by the Spirit when Jesus was raised from the dead, setting him apart as the Messiah, our Master. Through him, we received both the generous gift of his life and the urgent task of passing it on to others who receive it by entering into obedient trust in Jesus. You are who you are through this gift and call of Jesus Christ. And I greet you now with all the generosity of God our Father and our Master, Jesus the Messiah. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Paul speaks of his call to be an apostle, set apart to proclaim God's words and acts. How does God use you to share the good news of God's love for all? Paul says this task of sharing the good news is urgent. Why do you think this work is urgent? 
And how can we share that sense of urgency with others in a way that is inviting? Paul also speaks of the generosity of God. How have you experienced that generosity? And how can you demonstrate it to others? Our reading today comes from Letters from the Desert by Carlo Coretto. Whether you are on the sand worshiping or at the teacher's desk in a classroom, what does it matter as long as you are doing the will of God? And if the will of God urges you to seek out the poor, to give up all you possess, or to leave for distant lands, what does the rest matter? Or if it calls you to found a family or take on a job at a city, why should you have any doubts? God's will is our peace, says Dante, and perhaps that is the expression which best brings into focus our deep dependence on God. Let us pray. Generous God, you pour your love out upon all creation. Your greatest gift of love has come to us through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, your Son. We acknowledge that we, the Church, have at times presented you as something other than loving. We seek to limit your love to only those of whom we approve. Stretch our hearts, God, so that we grow in our generosity toward others. On this day when tensions run high, and when some may be tempted to present a false and ugly image of you to the world. We pray for those who are entering into new roles of leadership. We especially pray for President Biden and Vice President Harris. May your arms of protection be around them. Give them wisdom as they seek to lead this nation through this turbulent time.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are leaving positions of leadership and entering into a new phase of their own lives. May they discover ways to serve you that bring you honor and glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this nation. Help us to accept our need to repent of our sins, to turn back to your way of love and life, and to move forward in compassion and justice for all creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now receive this prayer of benediction. My God, I give myself to you as a gift of love. I place my life in your hands to do with as you will. Only use me, Lord, that my life be not wasted. Amen. Go in peace.